Hi everyone, it's Team B on the game again. Well, can you say that these days? Anyway, we're here to visit a quilter, uh, one that we don't know very well, so that's going to be a little bit different. But we're here because Jane and Cindy uh, are unable to do it again this month. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish Jane all the best. She's had some knee surgery this week and hopefully they'll be up and running for the next time we drop in on someone's sewing room. But today we're going to visit someone that we've just started to get to know. She has some interesting stories and I suspect some interesting things to show us inside. So let's knock on the door and see who we've come to visit. Whoa, there isn't any. I'm going to have to knock, aren't I? We just had to push it. Whoops. Jan, how are you? Can we come in? Yes. We've come to see your sewing room. All right. Come Introducing on. Jan Murphy, one of our newer guild members. Yes. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Jan, uh, Chris and Kathy, as you know, um, and we're hoping all of our viewers remember that we're the B team. But Jan, um, we're going to put these videos up on YouTube. Do we have your permission to do so? So that the whole world can share in the joys of your sewing room. And I suspect there might be a little quilt show or trunk show involved. Mm. Do you want to take us to show us your sewing yes, room? Yes, come this way. Okay. Oh, right look at this. Ooh. Happy we keep visiting lovely homes. We do. Slide the, the doors shut and... Oh, that's fabulous. Yes, you don't have to tidy up if people I'll come. put a film on here ah. so you can sh shut the door and hide yeah. everything. Oh, okay. Do you want to go on in? Does get Isn't it perfect? So, up on the wall, and I noticed when we came through there's another one, so we'll get that story in a minute. What's the story of this panel, Jen? That's my first panel. So you Big obviously like feathers. I do, but I'll put it up there to show how really bad they are and that I will get better as yes. I go along. So that will get replaced one day with a good, well, good sample. Well, looks to me. looks lovely. So oh. um, you obviously make quilts, but is the making of the quilts or the quilting of the quilts your favourite occupation? I think now i just rather do whole quilts. Yeah. So you can just not, quilt, quilt, quilt. Yes. Yeah, sometimes with the All the piecing it, now, yeah. I think I'm over it. <laughs> Cutting it up, putting it all back together. But I quite like the, and of course, Heather teaches lovely yes. whole quilts. Yes. I ha should tell our viewers that I met Jan quite a few years ago because we were handy quilter girls and we used to go on retreats with Heather Hopkins. Mm -hmm. So we have a similar passion for feathers, which I think all of the handy quilter girls um, fostered over time. Yes. But what about the panel behind? She's a, a rather lovely looking That um, was one lady. of my first panels I ever made back in about 2002. It's pretty old and it's not a lot of work to it because being one of my first um, it's just a panel out to here and then I just had to add two more right. borders so it's very simple that one. Okay. Now you started off, we all started off with a Sweet 16, but you no longer have a Sweet 16, you have a Capri now. Well, tell us about your Capri. Well, it's beautiful. I got it for my 70th birthday, which I was very lucky to get. How's and it different from the Sweet 16? Well, it has um, the inbuilt, it's just here. Oh, the stitch regulator. The stitch regulator. Mm -hmm. And it's got and an, it's an 18 inch rather than 16. Yes, yes, and you can get to it by just unscrewing under here and you pull this out, you can get to your bobbin better. And there's a light there okay. as well. So, oh, yeah. I guess we all remember the days of yes. bobbing down. Heather used to be good at being able to feel her way under there, but I always had to uh, stick my head under I had to get right down. I found it very hard. Yeah. We've got Christmas bed quarters. I you bet can... I know what they're for. Mm. I don't. What are you. they for? For the guild meeting. No. Your table no, runners. Table. Oh, the table runners. Yes, yes that's right. Yes. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Yes, they for are. For our beautiful. viewers, Kathy has spent the last two months making Christmas table runners, haven't you, Kathy? I for have. For uh, fundraising. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, so this is lovely. It is lovely. So Just all so my nice. fabric is in here. How do you sort it? I just pop it in. <laughs> totally random? Yes. Oh. Because a lot of the fabrics go together, so I keep yeah. them together. Mm -hmm. And um, all my patterns up there. And I've got another box of fabrics under there. Um, and I've got quite a few things to do here, and I thought I might show you them later. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Now, um, if we were Jane and Cindy, the standard question is, what's your favourite tool? The unpicker. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes, we can I'm all identify with that. Yeah, I'm picker, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> yes. No. Oh, it's a lovely little room, Jan. Thank but you. But knowing you, I suspect that if I said, could we have a little trunk show, that you'd be able to find some quilts for a trunk show? Yes, I've got a few here that are pinned. Oh, let's together. start with he these. What beautiful fabric on the back. Mm, I love that fabric. I found it hard to cut it up. So right now you're contemplating how to quilt this, I imagine? Yes. I'm going to use a ruler for this one, ruler work. That's lovely. Yeah. And where is it your pattern or someone no, else's? No, it's um, Anna Marie's Horner's oh, pattern. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'll fold this one if you like. All right. Blocking Kathy's view there. This is another one to be quilted. So pretty, so pretty. Doesn't the choice of fabric make such a, yes. an impact on a Yes, because it all goes together. Yes. It's lovely. And is this an original design or a pattern? It's a pattern. Well, you've got some interesting quilting times ahead of you. Yes. This is the one that I'm looking forward to starting. I've only started a tiny bit of it, but it'll be all done on the capris in feathers. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Gee, the panels that you can get these days are just wonderful. Yes. Oh, you're doing a beautiful job with those feathers. Definitely I mean, a difference to uh, oh, yes. your original feathers. That was they? done years ago. And you I'm should be proud of those. <laughs> They're beautiful. Mm. Right. So and that's on your to-do list. This one's a... Uh, well, I did a retreat, but probably won't finish this one because I don't like working with linen because it's stretched. Oh, yeah. it stretches. Okay. There's a lot of fullness here now, so I had to unpick. Yep. Yes, I see what you mean. I have the same problem with my linen tablecloths that I do. Mm -hmm. um, I've cried buckets over them because they seem to stretch as you sew them. They, they yeah. do. Yeah. Disappointing because the uh, linen's beautiful, but uh, well, we know what you're going to be doing on the hot summer days I've that got are coming. Lots of quilting to do. This one's just a, like a sample quilt to practice ruler work, mm -hmm. and I also wanted to do these um, flying geese. Yep, and I think it's quite quite That's nice. Lovely. This one, yeah. No, it's a good way to practice your ruler work, that's yes. for sure. And wait, there's more. Oh, this is just one I I did recently for, uh, during COVID, but I quite like it. You want to hold it up this way? It's a single bed one. Oh, isn't that stunning? And this one was quilted by Heather Hopkins. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Well, if that one's missing when we leave, you know where oh. I live. Uh, <laughs> great. Okay. Just leave that on there. Well, that is fine. Now, I believe that there's some more, so we might go and check out um, and have another little trunk show. Jan, this quote on the wall, I think, has a story. Would you like to share it with us? Yes, my girlfriend made this quilt for the motor neuron disease gala dinner and I bid for it and I got it at the last minute, a minute to midnight and I won it and I'm so thrilled to have it up on the wall because Lynn is such a fabulous feather quilter. 
Now this is Ling Finlay. Yes. Another that's original handy quilter girl. Yes. Yes. Now she's done a beautiful job. Yeah, I don't blame wonderful. you for wanting to um, own that. And what a good cause, the yes. fundraising cause. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you for sharing that story with us. But Jen, where are you taking us now? I've got a bag cupboard. <laughs> a bag cupboard. I want to oh. show you some bags I've made. I want a bag cupboard, Kathy. <laughs> So have you done these in workshops or at home? Yes, I've done these at... Look at all the pockets inside. I've done these at the Adelaide Sewing Centre with Kathy. Oh, she does beautiful bags. Look at all the pockets in there. Wow. Yes. But making um, bags is somewhat addictive, isn't it? It is. Such beautiful fabrics available these days. Yes, I like the denim on that one. Oh, that is um, absolutely delightful. I like that. Oh, I like that the uh, idea with your handles. Then they don't get scrunched up by having wide that's ones. That's right. Well, that's an excellent idea. Oh, that's that's a real trick. Oh, another one. This is just a cute little. When it's full, it looks a lot better. Mm -hmm. But it's a linen. It's quite pretty too. Oh, thank you for yeah, sharing that. You're with welcome. Us. Well, you're just. It's like a Pandora's box here, isn't it? It keeps coming and coming and coming. So thank you for showing us your bags. Good. Jen, I believe that in your bedroom there are some quilts that you would like to share with us. Do you want to take us for a little tour? Oh, well, come through. <laughs> now, was your career once interior designer? Your, your house is just beautiful. Everything coordinates. <laughs> Lovely. I was the secretary. Oh, <laughs> well, you just had a lovely taste. Tell us about this quilt. This quilt was made um, back in about 2002 when I first started quilting. And uh, I didn't actually end up quilting it myself. I sent it off again. But, uh, yeah, I was very really pleased with the way it turned out. You have lovely um, uh, colour choice. Lovely. And then I have a few in here. <laughs> oh, just a few, Kathy. Just a but few. These, these are only like practice sample quilts. They're not mm -hmm. quilts to give away to people. Okay. They're just practicing. Okay. Oh, oh, goodness. Panel. I cut you do panel. like panels, I bought don't two you? panels here yep. and cut through oh, and added them on the diagonals. to make them bigger. Well, that was a good solution. Mm. Oh, that is just beautiful. And do you keep the oxal and fold it up in the trunk or do you decorate with it? No, I just keep it in the trunk. <laughs> Can we just pile these on the bed while we yes. continue to get them out? This was using up scraps, this one. And while we're looking at these lovely quilts, tell us the bit of this really lovely story about your two daughters. My two daughters. Well, it's Darcy. Darcy's your Darcy, grandson. Darcy's birthday today, isn't it? Yes, Darcy's three today. And his brother's going to be five in February. But they're two little boys that were um, conceived by having... The sister donate the eggs to her, the mum of the two boys. Isn't so. that a lovely story? Yes. So your two, two daughters got a pretty special relationship yes. as a result and of that. They've got lots of quilts over the years. That's right. And I guess the grandchildren have got a very special relationship too then. Yes. Oh, how lovely. Oh, we didn't yeah. ask about this quilt. This so I that think one's a tie dyed one. Yep. And that was a, a oh. retreat, but I it ended up didn't go in. I can go right. to it, so I finished it myself. Okay. And that was a dyed by Kerry Ann Burroughs, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. Uh, this is just a small little quilt to practice on. It's just a, like a piece of fabric that was already dyed like that. So it's a lot of heavy, it's effective, heavy quilting on that. Just to practice, because I really. 
You only get better by practice, don't you? You do. It takes a long yeah, time. Absolutely do. This, this is another retreat one. Yes. The Heathers. This was an early one, wasn't it? Very early, yeah. Mm, that's lovely. Oh, that is just it's so tall. beautiful. It's got a taller backing on it. Yes, I love taller fabric. I don't know why you're giving Heather your quilts to quilt. I quilted this one. I, yeah, and you're good at it. <laughs> so I think oh, it's time to ditch Heather and quilt. Oh, well, don't want to ditch Heather. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a leaf girl, Heather. This is another one of those panels. I feel ashamed that my panel's still sitting home, folded oh, up, not touched. This one's pretty, isn't That's it, with lovely. the different colours? Yes, I think I wish that I'd made mine bigger. That's um, a lovely way to do it. But and it's a clever just, way of making it bigger. This design is from Lynn Finlay. She started cutting hers, getting two panels, cutting them, joining them, making them bigger. And it's her idea. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm glad she thought of it. Mm. This is a disaster because I've never done anything like this before and they don't line up very well. Um. I'm a bit ashamed of this one. That's why it's in there. But it's a learning experience, and it's a isn't learning. it? I did a lot of heavy quilting on that. Yes. But I will do another one one day because I, I love the design. Mm -hmm. No, I think any uh, quilt we quilt, no matter how experienced you are, there's always something to learn. Yes. And to um, <laughs> promise yourself that you're going to do better or differently next time. This was a very early quilt, about my third one I ever made. And it's just in the ditch. And it's very soft because it hasn't been yes. over quilted. A great quilt. I remember making one of these and by the time I squared it up, it was about two thirds the size it was. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <When> I, <a> shame. <laughs> it's because you, you cut bits off. Yes. I often make tote bags to match the quilts with the leftovers and cushions as well. That is so effective, isn't it? Well, it, it, a... it means that you can use, really make use of fabric and the beautiful designs without cutting it up yeah. into small pieces. So is this half of a layer? Beautiful. Cake? Yes. Oh, now that's a great way of Oh, it's lovely. It was a lovely layer cake. Because I, back then I was into pinks and greens. Mm -hmm. What and are you every into Every quilt looked the same. <laughs> What's your colour? Uh, I'm into the bright colours now. This is a fairly new one. Another tool. This you one obviously is, like taller. This one. Oh, going look to at LA. the border. This one's going to my girlfriend's daughter. In Los Angeles. Yes. Oh. She's an actress and. Uh, Oh, this is her. I love that. This is her. The only thing I did make a mistake when I put it together is down the bottom. I shouldn't have put the purple piece there. Oh, it blends. It ah. blends in too much. But you much. know, he hadn't highlighted that. People but I didn't noticed. notice it till well after. Oh. So the moral there is don't highlight your mistakes. Oh. <laughs> well, don't call them a mistake. I mean, no. it was on Just and on purpose. Picture. Yes. <laughs> I've done a few bed runners, but <gasps> they're lovely. Yes, they're nothing. I'll hold that one up. Oh, that's a nice. serious bed runner. I like to put them across the bed. Can you get that one, Kathy? Yes, beautiful. Last one. This is when I was first teeth there. Uh, First going to Hetty's patch when I first started quilting. And this is all the, all the fabric she had in the shop. 
It's a very oh, big quilt. It's soft and pretty though, isn't it? Can you get that one, Kathy? Yes. It's enormous. It's a queen size. And you quilted this? No. No, I sent it away. But it's got some nice soft quilting in it. Oh, lovely trailing leaves. Yes. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Right. Well, it's interesting that we've gone sort of from recent back to historic, but it's very evident, Jan, A, that you're passionate about your quilting, but B, how far you've come as a quilter too. Yes. And um, like many of us... Not so good at folding, but... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this is a heavy thing. We're not very it? coordinated, are we? Okay. Um, the other thing, it, it highlights how your colour choices have changed so much over time. Yeah, I was very soft colours yeah. and then I went to very bright fabrics. Yeah. Jan, this has been an absolute delight and pleasure to share today with you. Thank you for having us. Oh, um, I hope you've all enjoyed the, the trunk show and getting to know Jan. As I said, she's a very new member of the Guild. We don't know her well, but I hope we know her a whole lot better after today's visit. Thank so thank you, you everyone. Wishing you all a, a lovely, uh, joyous Christmas and all the best for next year. Bye. Bye. <laughs>